Okay, well, uh, that is us fully moved in, right? I mean, I've got all my stuff unpacked and, you know, tucked away into drawers and stuff, ready to be thrown on top of surfaces and on floors any minute now. <laughs> well, I'm... I'm not gonna... Look, if I'm gonna readily use something, I'm not gonna constantly open a drawer, take it out, use the thing, open the drawer, put it back in, close the drawer, open the drawer, take it out, use the thing, use the thing more, you know, have, having closed the drawer, open the drawer, like, it's just such a waste of time, right? So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on top of the thing to not have the drawer open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Well, it's just not a good use of time in my opinion for my time is extremely precious and that's why I waste so much of it intentionally but unintentional wasting of time now that, that's unacceptable of course <laughs> um, I should keep my room clean oh what are you do <laughs> hello Dr. Peterson how are you doing you haunt me everywhere hmm oh it's this guy he's He's one of, well, my dad was very insistent I should read this book about rules to life. And this guy wittering on about lobsters. Now, okay. I don't want to be completely unfair to it, but, and I don't want to talk about it too much because, haha, politics, that'll get me in trouble really quickly. But all I'll say is this guy essentially says that you should have your own life in order before you criticize the world and see i kind of know what he means but at the same time it's a bit extreme which actually kind of summates quite a lot of my feelings about the book but <laughs> one of the funniest ones is <laughs> i mean he basically says you should have your room clean before you criticize the world i'm just sitting there going okay so if my socks were on the floor versus in that drawer how would that hypothetically change my ability to rationally and meaningfully analyze and criticize problems or issues in society? What is it that is so goddamn transformational about the location of these socks in this guy's head? Does moving these socks unlock some sort of mega neural pathway of delight and wonder that will make me just a better person and yes i'm being a bit flippant about this but it's just well it's a bit silly really isn't it oh you need discipline you need order you need da -da 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 -da. but there are plenty of people who are disciplined and ordered who can't analyze anything there are plenty of the greatest thinkers and minds in human history were disorganized as hell some of the best poets and writers in history couldn't spell, you know? That's why they're the editors. Wordsworth couldn't spell for toffee, you know? It's just... The reality is that there are different skills in the world, and the intrinsic linking of wide-scope, macro-level analysis with micromanagement of rooms is a bizarre correlation to draw. Remember when I said I wasn't going to talk much about it? I haven't done very well with it, have I? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, well, just for that, I guess you get to choose the film, maybe? Or what you want to cook? Maybe have all these fancy pots and pots. I can't be bothered cooking. Can you be bothered cooking? I really can't. Do you want to just order something in? Or we could go out and see if there's a knife cafe or something somewhere. Or... Huh? Why am I nervous? I'm not nervous. Really. Too much. <clears throat> well. <sighs> so I've been thinking about you remember the day where I asked you if you wanted to be my roommate, and it all got kind of really weird really quickly. I, um... I was thinking about why that might have happened. And I was thinking... Well, 
uh, that maybe you're expecting me to ask you something else. Well, I was trying to think when I might be, right? Because, <laughs> um, well, there's one thing I, there's one thing it could be, but it's not, you know? <laughs> so I've basically been trying to rack my brain as to what it is I'm missing. Because it feels like I'm missing something. So what I think it is, well, I don't really know. But I do worry that, I don't know, it, it seems like you're not entirely comfortable around me. And I kind of sense that. I have like this, I almost got defined as a social chameleon. That essentially, whatever the people around me are feeling, I'll sort of adapt to that. So if people are feeling confident, I'll feel confident. If people are feeling angry, I'll start getting kind of quietly angry for no reason. It's a weird state of affairs, I know. But, uh, essentially, I am, uh, just, well, I'm pretty sure that, I don't even put this, I am pretty sure that you're not altogether comfortable with this. And I do kind of want to figure out why. But. Despite my socks having been put in my drawer. I'm still completely unable to come up with why. And I kind of feel like an idiot. Because it's probably really obvious. And it's probably something I'm doing wrong. And you know I want you to enjoy being around me. And. I feel like I'm not really doing very well at that. Why are you sighing? Well, I guess at least it's progress from saying nothing. What do you mean I'm an idiot? Wait, excuse me, I'm trying at least. I know I'm missing something, but I'm trying to figure out what it is. How am I so blind? Oh, come on. Blind to what? <laughs> you like me. Yeah, I mean, we established that, because if you don't like me, we're not going to be very good roommates and all that, are we? What are you... What's the exasperated noise? Look, I, I don't know what you want from me. I really don't. I... Look, if I upset you, I'm really sorry. I I want to be a good roommate, you know, and 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 have our have the time we spend together be really nice, and you know, I, I want to listen to you. And well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> um. But basically I really like you and I want to spend more time with you and I thought this was nice, you know, roommating together and like whatever it is I'm missing, can you just tell me or, or, or just let me know in some way I don't want to fall over or anything. I... Why? Uh, well, <laughs> I uh, will try to stop carefully smiling in a minute. As what? Um, bed? What do you mean now? I, oh, okay, I guess we're going now. 